Hi, everybody. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean. And I'm excited to bring you today's core and stretch class. We're going to get started standing in just a couple minutes at the top of the mat. If you'd like to put on some sort of relaxing music, you're welcome to put on music. Uh, I encourage you to have a little bit of water ahead of time. Coming over here to grab a sip of wine because we just got 30 minutes together. 30 minutes, it's pretty fast. But keep some water nearby because if you do need to grab a sip of water, go for it. Before you take that sip, I want you to think to yourself though, am I grabbing a sip of water because I'm thirsty? Am I grabbing a sip of water because I find the action that we're doing challenging and I wanna take a break? And then do whatever feels right. But I just want you to think about whether in a group exercise class, you're drinking because you're thirsty or you're drinking because you're using that water as a crutch. Who hasn't been there? Okay, no, time, I'm excited, let's do this. Mm -hmm. I know, my water looks a little bit like that. All right, come towards the top of the mat. Make sure there's some space in front of you because we are gonna have a forward fold coming your way. Feet are just about hips width distance apart. And if you're not entirely sure what hips width distance apart looks like, you can even fold forward with your belly pulled in to make sure your back feels good. A measure just about two fist distances between your feet. We're talking about your hip bones, not the outside of your glutes. So it might be a little bit more narrow than you think. Awesome. Start to ground through all four corners of the feet. Maybe you're keeping a slight bend in your knee. That's totally okay. Notice if you're overarching through the back, sticking your chest out, sticking your glutes out. And if you found that you were, Take a moment to gently tuck your pelvis forward, a little squeeze of the glutes. Perhaps you'll even take a lift of your chest and shoulders, a squeeze back of your shoulder blades, and then check in with your rib cage. Make sure that didn't flare out towards the front. And if it did, drawing your belly in, and now you've got such an amazing line from your heels all the way to the crown of your head. Stretch your fingers towards the floor, decompress through your shoulders. Let's just take a couple breaths right here, noticing how your body feels. How does it feel in general? How does it feel in this position? Is this comfortable, uncomfortable? Where might you feel some tension? Just noticing those things. No need to really make any sort of a change just yet but taking in how your body feels today. All right, we've got one more minute right here, just breathing and being our amazing selves in some space away from our desk and life drama. I'd love for you to think towards an intention for today's practice. What brought you to your mat? Well, let's, if we can, keep that intention positive. Like, you know, I'm here to be the best version of myself. I want to feel good today. Whatever your intention might be, to create a little bit of space, a little bit of mindfulness, maybe sending some energy out to someone that you care about, that you know that would need it. Just take that into your mind, into your heart and soul right now with your breath. All right, and let's go ahead and get started. So starting with mountain poles uh, right here, hands down by your side. We're going to inhale, arms up overhead. I like to turn my hands, palms forward as I bring arms up overhead. And we're going to go slowly through the first time. So ground through your heels, stretch your fingers up towards the ceiling, but create as much space as you can, lifting from the waist. So perhaps you found that you really stretched your shoulders towards your ears. 
And you can engage through the upper back a little bit more, keeping that rib cage knit in. So no extra flaring through the ribs, no big sway back through the glutes and hips. And if it feels good uh, for this extended mountain pose, you can even look up. Or if you'd like to, using your inhale, find a gentle little back bend, keeping weight in your heels. And the back bend should come from your upper back, not your lower back. So a big lift of your chest. Great. One more big inhale right here. And on your exhale, pull your belly in. We're going to fold forward. Keeping it nice and slow, taking a couple moments in this dangle. So still equally pressing through all four corners of the feet. It's our first dangle. So if you'd like to take a moment, bend one knee and then the other, get a little bit of movement in the hips. If the floor feels really far away, then go ahead and grab your opposite elbow and take a little hinge at the hips so that your belly comes towards your thighs so there's not just a lot of space right here uh, which can be really tough on the low back bringing your belly towards your thighs like a table oh my gosh can allow you to relax a little bit more and breathe all right on your next inhale we're going to come into a half lift so finding some length through the crown of the head, a nice flat back. Maybe your hands are on your shins. Maybe your hands needed to come a little bit higher towards your thighs for your half lift. And we're going to exhale back down into our forward fold. Still trying to keep that beautiful length you created in your spine. From here, we're going to step or jump back into a plank. I'm going to step back. And then we're going to come on down into a half plank. So first getting your good plank form, pushing into your hands, palms. Eye gaze gently forward, back engage. So to come into the half plank is like a push up. I'm going to release my knees towards the floor uh, to be kind to myself. And then halfway down, pause and hip. Oof. Come into up dog. And if you need to, your thighs can be on the floor or maybe you challenge yourself in your up dog to tuck your toes under like you're coming straight from your half plank let's inhale into down dog and then exhale as you step or jump forward inhale into your half lift exhale into your forward fold Take a couple breaths right here. One more time in this forward fold. Still just warming up the body. Option to keep the soles of the feet down. Bend your knees. One and then the other. Then come back into your stillness. Inhale. Lift yourself up. Bring your arms up overhead on this inhale. Come into your extended mountain. Option to just reach up. Or take a big lift of the chest. Maybe a gentle little back bend. And then exhale, arms come down by your side, back to mountain. All right, as soon as you come back into that mountain, check in with yourself. Notice if you have that sway back that comes back into your hips, because that might just be natural. Really just checking in on the movement compensations that we create uh, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, there's so many so many reasons it could happen. So just doing your best to come back into some big length right here. Let's go through it two more times. We're gonna move a little bit faster. If you know what you're doing and you wanna move at your own pace, you can do that as well. And then we'll all just meet back standing. So we've got two more times. Ground through your feet, pull that lower belly in, gentle squeeze of the glutes, hips press forward. Hands, palms towards the front of the room. Chest is open. Let's inhale, arms up overhead. Oh, sorry, we, I kind of skipped mountain already. It's okay. Maybe you go for that backward bend and then exhale. Come on down into your forward fold. Inhale into your half lift. Exhale back down into your forward fold. 
pants down on the floor, step or jump back into your plank and come into your half plank. Inhale up, up, exhale, hips up, down dog, belly towards thighs again. Then step or jump forward on your next breath. Hips up into a big forward fold. Third, inhale. inhale into your half lift. Exhale back into your forward fold. Inhale slowly, gently. Roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Arms come up overhead. Exhale, arms back down to mountain. Second set, starting from mountain, inhale, arms up. Look up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale into your half lift. Exhale back down to your forward fold. Step or jump back. Come into that half plank on your inhale. Exhale, press up to up top. Chest coming forward. Inhale into down dog. Exhale, step or jump forward into a half lift. And then forward fold. Inhale, slowly, gently roll yourself up. Bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, arms back down at your side in mountain. Just breathe. Find your stillness. Find one spot to relax your eyes. Even if you're thirsty, you resist the urge for just two more breaths to take any sort of movement. You don't need to fix your shirt or your hair. And if you did, that's okay. Just come into the stillness. Amazing. Were some, was it challenging? I thought so. Did we make some mistakes? Probably. <laughs> but it's okay. That's why it's a practice. It's a practice. All right. Hands, palms forward. Inhale, arms up overhead. Look up. Exhale. Chin to chest, belly in. Forward fold. Inhale into your half lift. Exhale back down into your forward fold. Step your legs down, bring your knees to the floor. Let's come on into a cat cow or tabletop. We're going to come into tabletop first, and then we're going to do that cat cow. So hands, palms right underneath of your chest and shoulders. Spread your fingers really wide. If you're actually using a yoga mat, maybe take a moment to even think about lining up your middle finger, or if it feels more comfortable, your pointer finger uh, to be parallel with the mat. And then Find your cat cows. Find what feels good for you today. Get a little bit of free movement here to begin with. Really take the time through your breath to explore your range of motion. And try to keep things slow. There's no reason to rush. So however long your breath is, the full length of that inhale or exhale to get to your final range of motion. So my full inhale the whole time. Coming into cat until my lungs were full and then pausing for a moment because it feels so good to get that extra stretch and that full exhale. coming into cow and having lungs empty. Take a moment, give yourself one or two more of those as slow as you can at your own pace, respecting your breath, however long or short your breaths uh, might be today. Awesome. And when you finish, go ahead, sit back on your heels. Make some circles with your wrist. Well, it's already Wednesday. Oh my gosh. This week is flying by. 
All right, it's coming back into that tabletop. We got a couple push-ups, y'all. We're just going to do a couple of push-ups. Uh, if you want, you can even stay right here in tabletop if you're not feeling very strong. Leading with your chest like you're going to just tip and touch your nose towards the mat. Exploring as deep of a range of motion as you can. And if you can still get that same range of motion on your knees, making sure that you're finding a bit of leading with your chest. So that you're not leading with your belly and then lifting up and using your low back for the movement. And if you can do the same thing on your toes, great. Hopefully you've already gotten started. Goal is to get in a minimum of five. Maybe you're getting just about seven push-ups. Let's get two more together. Final one. Keep that core pulled in tight. Make sure belly is hopefully not releasing to the floor first. Awesome. And now release yourself all the way down towards the mat. Uh, if you bent your knees, extend your legs out. Make a nice little pillow with your hand. Take a moment here in your alligator pose to just melt into the floor. Check in. Did your shoulders crawl up towards your ears? I know mine started too. And taking the opportunity to see your shoulder blades down your spine. Ooh, brings that delightful extra little stretch into the upper body. Pressing your chest into the mat. Also gently pressing uh, the inner arms into the mat for a little more activation. All right, now I want you to press the tops of your feet into the mat so that your kneecaps lift up. And then squeeze your glutes, press your pelvis down towards the mat. Belly button's going to stay down as well, so find a little grounding through the center line. Take a big inhale, lift your upper body up. Hold up here for a second. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower. Two, three. Nice and slow. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower. Two, three. Two more. Inhale, lift. Keep pressing the tops of the feet down, squeezing those glutes. Exhale, lower. Two, three. Last one. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. Really lower down. Ah, relax into your mat. Bring your hands, palms in line with your chest and shoulders. We're going to push ourselves back. Take a nice stretch of the low back in child's pose. You can release your head down towards the floor. It feels good to stretch your fingers forward. Awesome. If you want a little bit more engagement through the shoulders, Upper back, a little bit more stretch into the low back. You can even tent your fingers, pressing the pads of the fingers into the floor. And if that is too much on your shoulders, A, put your hands back down, or B, go ahead, bend your elbows. About two or three more breaths here. And then we're going to turn over, lay down, get off backs. Awesome. Cross yourself back up. Cross your legs behind you. Maybe even walk yourself up if you're too far towards the back of the mat. Sit down on your glutes. Send your legs in front of you. Use your abs as you lower yourself down. So if you can, try not to place those hands on the floor. You can press your heels into the floor as you slowly lower yourself one vertebrae at a time. Did you do it? <sighs> You're amazing. All right. Keep your feet in. Once again, just about hips width distance apart. Left foot is going to stay down on the floor. 
You can keep your arms by your side or out next to you. We're not going to use our arms to begin with for this next one, but I want you to draw your right knee as close towards uh, your chest and shoulders as you can without using your hands. Really just pull that knee up in the direction of your shoulders. You're going to feel a stretch in your hip. Just one more breath. And now let's make some circles with that leg. So releasing lower back towards the floor. Make four big circles with your hip, keeping that knee bent. And if your balance is feeling off, bringing your thumbs close towards your glutes can help you out right here. Once you've made four in one direction, we're going to make four in the opposite direction. Woo! It's a little challenging, right? All right. After this fourth one, you can use your left hand on the outside of the right knee, right arm out towards the side. We're going to roll over into uh, the hips. A spine twist. Oh my gosh, Jessica. Uh, if you need to, you can always bring a block to the party. I can't quite reach my block uh, to maybe place underneath of your right leg. Stack your hips as much as you can and check back in with your shoulders. Did they creep up towards your ears? Because if you relax them down, if you really create some space within your spine, if your right hand is not stretching up towards the ceiling, but in line with your shoulder or maybe just a little bit lower, Perhaps you can even get that right shoulder to the floor, even if you never have before. Just a couple of breaths left. If you want an extra stretch in your neck and you didn't already do so, you can turn and look in the opposite direction of your bent leg and creating that relaxation and stretching your neck might also help you to get your right shoulder towards the floor. Okay, let's roll onto our back one more time. Keeping that right knee bent, interlace all 10 fingers right below the knee, pull it out towards the side, and then back up towards the shoulder for a little bit of wind removing pose. So good for the digestion, metabolism, and also. Uh, Creating space uh, in the abs and helping to remove any gas that you might have. Always making sure to start on the right side for this deep compression posture, as right now we're getting our ascending colon, and when we eventually get to the other side, we will work our descending colon, and then both knees to the chest will work your transverse colon. Okay, last motion we're going to do on this leg is to extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. If it's too much in your left hip, maybe you take a little bit of a bend in the left leg. If your abs aren't very strong, having that slight bend in the left leg might also help for this next one. All right, so make sure your hips are ground towards the center. Take a moment and just point and flex your toe. Make some circles in one direction. And then the other, just a quick little ankle stretch to also help loosen everything up all the way into the hip. And then toe stays pointed, fingers stretch down towards the bottom of your mat. Pull your belly button back towards your spine. Take an inhale, lift yourself up, bringing your nose towards your knee. And exhale, slowly lower yourself. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three. Keep pointing that toe, inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, and if you need to have a bend in your knee, that's okay, you can still lift, two, three, four. Lower, two, three, 
One more here. I lied. One more like that. Last time we're going to come up and hold. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Hold for three. Two, lift a little higher. One. Awesome. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Go ahead, release that right heel. Sole the foot towards the mat. Take a moment, bend your left leg. Windshield wipe through your knees. Awesome job. How did you do? Were you able to really get your shoulders off of the mat as you tried to lift your nose towards your knee? Well, the great news is you get to try it again. Awesome. So once again, send both legs out. And then draw your left leg up. Really work to just draw that knee as close towards your shoulders as possible. You can have your hands by your side. But try not to use those hands right here. Just a couple more breaths. Do you feel it in the hip flexor? Maybe a little in the quad for three, two, one. Start your circles with that knee bent. Even that 90 degree in your knee, four circles in one direction. This side's a little tighter for me. How about you? Very normal to have one side tighter than the other. And then four circles in the opposite direction. Keeping it nice and slow, nice and slow, right? Three. And four. And when you finish this last circle, we're going to come into our spine twist. Just roll into it on the opposite side. And if you want, remember, you can use a block underneath of your legs and check in on your upper body. Relaxing shoulders away from your ears to help create space. You need to bend your lower leg. Whatever you have to do, it's your body. Everyone's going to look a little bit different in a posture like this, but melt into the floor as much as you can. Check in on your upper body again. Just a couple breaths left. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders and chest. And then carefully roll onto your back one more time. Extend through the right leg again, and let's get wind removing on the left leg. Interlacing all 10 fingers, just about two inches or so below the knee. Rolling onto your back again, stretching your elbows towards your hips. Creating a little bit of pressure here by pushing your hands, palms onto your knee, and then equal opposite pressure of pressing your shin into your hands, palms. And if your belly is pulled in and lower back is pressed towards the floor, you might feel a pinching compression sensation in the lower left abdomen, and that is your descending colon. One more big inhale. On your exhale, release. Send your left leg up towards the sky. Find some grounding through the right heel. Make some circles, point. Ooh, and flex your left toe. Remember, if you need to take a slight bend uh, in either of your knees for this one, that's okay. Stretch your fingers down towards the end of the mat. Pull your lower belly and press your lower back down on the mat. Get ready to inhale and lift yourself up. Full leg of your breath. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift. Two. Three, four, exhale, lower, two, 
three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower. I hope you're really reaching for the end of the mat. Inhale, lift, lower back, rest into the floor, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, down. We got one more time with up and down. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three. The last time, inhale, lift, two, three. Hold it for three, two, one. And slowly down, down four, three, two, one. Ah, relax your shoulders. Release the left foot down towards the floor. Bend your right knee. Windshield by both legs. And then let's just get that transverse colon real fast. So drawing both knees in towards your chest. Press your lower back down onto the mat. Stretch your elbows towards your hips. Shoulders away from ears. Chin slightly tucked towards your chest. Maybe even giving yourself double, triple chins here. Keep the feet side by side. You can press them in towards each other for slightly more compression. But don't cross your feet. And stretch through the crown of your head. One more big inhale. Put on your exhale. You can gently release. We're going to find a way to roll ourselves up. I'm going to bring feet back down towards the floor and roll over towards the side for a moment. Coming into tabletop. If you want to give yourself another cat and cow. From neutral tabletop, tuck your toes under, send your hips up towards the ceiling, take a quick pedal through your heels, belly towards the eyes, stretching once more into the calves, and then walking hands to feet or feet to hands. Transfer weight into your heels, generously bend your knees, and then slowly roll yourself up. One last time together today, stack your head over your heart, inhale, arms up overhead. Look up into your extended mountain and exhale. Relax your arms down by your side. Find a moment in your stillness, in your breath, stretching fingers down towards the floor. Just coming back to whatever intention you set today. That gentle squeeze of the glutes to bring your hips forward. A big lift of your chest and hopefully a gentle or a big smile on your face. Awesome! That's all the time that we have for today. I hope that you are finishing feeling amazing or at least better than when we got started. If you have any questions or concerns about anything that I said or we did, I know you'll reach out. And I look forward to seeing you on Friday for some yin yoga. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone.